I'm Rana Begum and this is my first solo show with Christia Roberts, Reflection on Colour and Form. What inspires the colour relationship with form is the surrounding and what I see around me. I love walking around the street, seeing things clashing or kind of really complementing each other or things coming into alignment. Recreating those little moments is really exciting. Through the process of making, you rediscover those experiences, but in a slightly different way. The journey through the space allows you to pause. It draws you in and you get closer and it unravels and you really see the work kind of change or be affected by light. I like just having meditative and quite calm moments with the works. When you get to the end of the gallery, you see number 860, which is a set of prints that I absolutely love. I love the way that, you know, all these kind of colours come together and you've got this kind of intimate space. We have shown the Hazard Tape prints as a set, um, as a group, but I really wanted to split those up for the exhibition because I wanted to draw the viewer to the detail of the work to really see the relationship between the colour and the form and the surface. I'm really excited about the lenticular prints, so their new body of work. I've been really interested in how much I can push the print in terms of movement, how it could embody movement. One minute it becomes about form, another minute it becomes about colour and interaction with colour. I love the idea that they can shift as you walk around. Printmaking has opened up possibilities in the studio. I love how it's connected to um, everything that's happening in the studio, whether the sculptures or the installation or public art. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time since working with Christia Roberts. I've had the opportunity to really push that aspect of my work. It really gives the work potential to grow, to become something else. These prints came from works, sculptural works that I've done um, and then these prints have kind of informed these series of, um, I like to say they're kind of like maquettes, to be able to touch and feel the material and to see as you're kind of moving them around how they interact and it's those kind of interaction that inform the larger scale pieces. I don't necessarily think about medium first. I think about experience and what I want to achieve. It's quite sensory, so you know, it's the way the light would respond to colour or form or material. You know, with these, you know, these started off as um, hazard tape kind of collages, which then became prints. And as I was working on the prints, um, I was really excited by how sculptural the prints looked. And, you know, so my next thing was, well, how do I bring them out, you know, into the three-dimensional space? And so I started thinking about the physicality of the geometry and the form. That void becomes almost physical, whether it's with the prints or with the sculptures. And there's a silence in the work. I love having moments with them, just being able to kind of walk around and reflect on the way they're responding to the space, if you like, or the light in the space, or with each other as well.